take a close look at the new bulk edit feature in Media Composer 2020.4. Now bulk edit allows you to replace the data in a particular column for multiple bin items according to a format that you can customize. For example, a user could use bulk edit to add a prefix or a suffix to all selected clip names. Okay, so let's say we want to modify some of the, the names of these clips right here. Right now they're just some uh, random numbers that were set up when these drone shots were taken. You'll also see here in your columns I have things like, you know, duration, start and end time, uh, tracks. I even set up a custom column for shot, what type of shot that is. Totally customized by me. Even comments. I've added, you know, certain comments like the car is in frame, or maybe it's a beach view. And maybe these are items that I want to use when I want to change the name of my clips. So let's go ahead and grab all of these clips right here. If I go to bulk edit, you'll see that bulk edit gives you a number of options. So the modify column lets me choose what column I want to modify. Now I'd want to modify the name column. So let's go to name. Let's say I want to go and change which items. Now from here, so I have them all selected, so it could be the selection. I could choose all bin items, all master clips, all subclips, or all sequences. And I would actually choose those accordingly, but I do want to change all of the selected items. You also get to replace the column data with a formatted string. So basically you're choosing either the specified text, the counter, or a custom data column. So I can go in now, the, the specified text text for the name, I want to change that to just be drone. And we'll put a little underscore next to it and it's going to add in that information. Now across the bottom here you'll see column data will be changed for column name and it's going to give me my results. So right now it's just drone underscore. But on the right side, you actually get the change of what every clip is going to be. So it's sort of letting you see what's going to happen before you commit it. So besides just changing the name, I want to add maybe some more text. And I want it to be, maybe it's a, a, a certain episode. So we'll do episode 401. So it's added episode 401 to there. And maybe I want to add another piece of data to that column. And I want to add something from the custom data. And the custom data lets me choose text from what column. Could be the name, start, end, duration. This is actually the names of the columns that are currently available in my bin. So if I say comments, you'll see that the names actually are drone underscore episode 401. And every comment name is now added or will be added to the end of the name of my text here. Now, uh, I'm going to go in before I commit that. Let's go ahead and cancel that. I want to change my options. So I want to go in to my choose columns. I'm going to turn them all on. The reason why I'm doing this is now every column is turned on for metadata, even stuff that doesn't have information available. So if I go back in and choose all of the clips and then go to bulk edit and then say I want to change a piece of column data Look at this. I actually can choose any metadata column as something to put in for the new name of my clip. Now again, I don't want to do that. I just wanted to show you what that does. Let's go back to my shot view. Now the great thing about bulk edit is I can select all of the clips. Um, I could, if I right click and select bulk edit, I could say just take, you know, all of the master clips or all of the you know, I, all sequences. There's no sequences there, so I'm not seeing any results here. So whatever I select, if I say all master clips, you'll see the result right here. So again, I just want to go in and use some of the metadata that I've generated to actually help name all of my clips here. Now we're seeing the name. I want to choose specific text. I want to just type in, let's say, drone underscore. Uh, maybe I want to add um, travel. Uh, maybe I also want to add, you know, one of the special columns. So let's go to the column data. I want to choose the shot column. And you're now seeing that drone underscore travel wide shot, medium shot, establishing shot. Uh, maybe I want to add just another underscore to help divide that up. I'm seeing the sample result here and the full results to the right. Now I also want to go in and add maybe some more column data. 
So let's go to the comments. So now I have a full string of text that I'm building right here that I want to have applied to all of my clips in my bin. I click commit and we see the change happen. All the information is built into the clip. I've changed it. All the metadata is still there, but I've now gone in and changed every single clip in that bin. You can also take a look at bulk edit as a way to add a prefix to a name or to some metadata in your bin. So here we have some sequences. They're all basically copies of the same sequence. Maybe some changes have been made, but I want to go in and add maybe a, a, a code or something in front of the sequences here. So again, we can select all of them, or if I go to bulk edit, I can say I want to modify the column name for of all sequences, and maybe I want to start out with the text to be a code of uh, one, two, three, and then I want to add the actual name. So it is still bringing in the be underscore demo um, if I'd like that, or I could you know change the entire thing to just be specific. BE demo, and maybe I want to add a counter. I mean, these could be you know sequential files. This could be different uh, iterations of a sequence. So we can also go in and add a counter. And the counter here, depending on you know the number of files or depending on how many digits you want to add. Let's say we just want to add two, starting value of one, and increment by one. Again, down here we see the column data will be changed for the column name. So that is the sample result. And then here we see what the actual complete results are. Uh, plus we can go in and say maybe we want to change the naming uh, to be the column data to uh, have a change in the case. So, you know, upper and lower, maybe just all upper. And again, this is something that you know normally some people have to go in and do to each specific file. Now I can just go in and say I want to have them all caps uh, for the name that's being added on there. And when I say commit, we'll see the change right here. And maybe I want to go in and take off the uh, copy. So again, come in here, do bulk edit. We'll start off with one, two, three, underscore. We'll add some specific data, be underscore demo, and then we'll just add a counter. So we'll just make this nice and easy. So just the counter, we're not going to have the copies of copies of copies. Say commit, and there's our new list of names. So again, you can go in and change name. You can add columns. You can add information to a specific column. Uh, that could be a tape name. It could be a reel. It could be any sort of card identifier for your media. And then once that is uh, transcoded, all that information is embedded into that file. And again, the cool thing is, depending on the bin that you have open that you're doing bulk edit on, your options actually change. So if I go to bulk edit, you can see if I go to modify column, Episode is in there, that's the one I created. If I go to my editor's bin, I actually created a column called editor. So now if I right click, go to bulk edit, you'll see that I could go in and change the editor column to have any sort of metadata. But I can also use that information to name anything in my bin. So if I wanted to go in and add the full name of the editor, to the name of the actual clip that's set up there. I simply go, I want to change the name. I want to go to the text. The specific text is going to be the name, which is right there. We'll go ahead and add maybe another little divider with an underscore. And then we'll go ahead and add the column data of the editor name right after. Again, we're seeing the end result. That's the name of the original clip with an underscore and the name of the editor directly after that. I also want to choose, I don't want to choose the groups that were created. 
I just want to change the master clips. So even though I don't have them selected, it's now gone in and chosen the master clips matching with the name. I hit commit. And we now see the name of the editor next to the name. So I think you'll see that there definitely are advantages to using the new bulk edit feature in Avid Media Composer 2020.4. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.